Hey everyone, happy vlog day. So it is a new week, which means that we are going to a new school. So today is Thursday. Um, it is around 4 14 p.m and we are going to Buholtz high school in gainesville florida um, they're playing fleming island from jacksonville florida um, something funny is um i'm from jacksonville florida so i'm going to gainesville to see them play at jacksonville school i don't know i thought that was funny um, so I actually looked on Behold social media and found that it is their senior night. I feel like I'm always at somebody's senior night. Like every Friday, I feel like it's somebody's senior night. But yeah, that's going to be um, really cool. I know Buholtz is 6-1 and one and Fleming Island is 4-3. and three, So it should be a pretty good game as well. Um, I looked up a few like facts and stuff about Buholtz that I thought were really cool. So I wanted to share. Um, they were actually named after Frederick William Buholtz. He was a teacher and a coach at Gainesville High School. Um, and they named the school after him. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, something else that I thought was pretty cool is the Buholtz math team. They were named America's greatest math team by the Wall Street Journal in 2022. Which like, that's like... That's some legit stuff, okay? So, Buholtz has a lot to offer, apparently. So, I can't wait to see how the game goes. It is currently 4.15 p.m. The game starts at 7 p.m. I have about an hour and 45-minute drive, I believe. So, I'm going to head on the road, and I will see you all when I get there. Bye. So I have officially made it to Buholtz. Um, I'm honestly not sure where I parked. <laughs> I don't know if like I'm in the back of the school or what. Um, but it is currently 6.15. The game starts at 7 p.m. So I'm going to figure out where the field is and where to go. And I will check in with you guys later. All right, you guys. I was way off. Um... I literally had to drive 20 minutes from the school to get to the field that they're actually playing at. They're not actually playing at the field um, at Buholtz, they're playing at Citizens Field, which is 20 minutes from their actual field. So it is currently seven o'clock, <laughs> so we are definitely late. Um, since it's senior night, that gives us like a little leeway because the game hasn't actually started yet. So yeah, so I'm gonna rush in here and see what's going on.
All right, you guys. You guys cannot say that I am not dedicated to this food review. I literally had to go like in the back of the school, like in this like sketchy like alley part um, because they have no seating here um, for me to do my food review. So yeah, so um, it's halftime. We're gonna do our food review. They didn't have a lot to choose from uh, when it came to the food menu. I don't know, after uh, last week at Bradford, I just expect everyone to have like fried Oreos and funnel cakes and stuff like that. Um, but what they did have, I did get. Um, so I got some french fries. I got, sorry, it's all in one hand. I got a hot dog. I got a cheeseburger and also a pulled pork sandwich. So we're gonna try everything. All right, first up we have our hot dog. Ooh, looks really good. It's really good, really soft. Mm. Really good. I'm gonna give it seven out of 10. All right. Next up, we have our pulled pork sandwich. I hate pulled pork, like I hate it so much, but for you guys, for the video, I'll try it. Ew, no. Mm -mm. Pulled pork is not my thing. All right, next up, we have our cheeseburger. Actually, I have cheeseburgers and french fries, so hold on. Yeah, so our last things are the cheeseburger and the french fries. I'm gonna just try them together. So, cheeseburger, first bite. Mm. Really good. French fry. I think it has Old Bay seasoning on it. It's gonna be good, I can tell. Top tier french fry right here. I'm gonna give the fries an 11 out of 10, a cheeseburger, a nine out of 10. All right, you guys, that is all that I have to try. Like I said, they didn't have a lot on the menu. Um, the only other thing that I didn't get was the candy and the hamburger, but it's same thing without cheese. So yeah, um, pretty okay selection, but the game is about to start, so I'm gonna head back over there, um, and I'll see y'all in a little while. Bye. officially done with the game I had to put on my little jacket because it got a little chilly but um yeah so the game is over I had a great time at Buholt so let's do our final recaps so first up we're gonna do the food so the food was a bit disappointing for me they didn't have a lot on the menu um they had like your basics like french fries hamburger hot dog um pulled pork sandwich they didn't really have a lot to choose from um it wasn't bad by any means they just didn't have like a wide like selection of food I think after getting like fried oreos at the last place I'm like all for trying like new stuff now <laughs> but yeah so the food was pretty average so I'm gonna give the food a seven out of ten all right, next up we have the fans. So the fans, there actually weren't a lot of people here tonight, which was kind of surprising since it's a senior night. Um, but there weren't like a lot of fans, like the, there wasn't like a, a really big student section and the actual fans themselves, there weren't like a lot of them. Um, like the, the stadium wasn't super, super packed. Is what I'm saying. Um, so yeah, the, the fans were, they were pretty good. They were all in white. Um, some people had like matching jumpsuits on, which was kind of cute. So yeah, um, I'm gonna give the fan student section combo a solid like six out of 10. 
All right, next up we have the band. So the band was amazing. I'm gonna have to give the band a 10 out of 10. Um, they were all dressed up really nice. They had like their backdrops. They had different props they were throwing around. Um, some of the band members had on like little black berets, which is really cute. Um, so yeah, they did a, a, a halftime performance and it was very great. Um, it was very creative. So I'm gonna have to give the band a 10 out of 10 because they were amazing. All right, next up we have the cheerleaders. So the cheerleaders were really good as well. Um, they were really tight with their moves. They were really, you know, energetic and, and happy. And something super cool that they do is every time Behold gets a touchdown, um, they would run with their flags and do um, like flips and tricks. So that was cool to see. So I'm gonna have to give the cheerleaders a nine out of 10. All right, I think that pretty much sums up everything. Thank you all so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know down below what school you want me to go to next. It might be your school. So yes, I will see you all next time. I'm gonna head on the road. But until next time, bye.